Hello tea lovers, my name is Michaela and I am a guide at spiritofjapantours.com. Today we are making a special virtual journey for the Temple of Tea. So come and join me on a virtual adventure to Japan to see a beautiful tea house in one of the most charming Zen temples in Kamakura, Japan's ancient capital. Let's go! For those of you who love green tea, you probably know that there is a difference between the taste of the Japanese green tea and the Chinese green tea, and that is due to the way that the tea was made. And perhaps you have also heard that there is a strong connection between the tea drinking culture and Zen Buddhism in Japan. And the reason behind that is that um, drinking tea, the tea plant itself, was brought to Japan by a Japanese Zen monk, Eisai, who went to China to study there under a famous Zen master. He got introduced to drinking tea and upon his return to Japan, he brought the tea plant here. So at the beginning, tea was uh, used mainly in temples as a way to help monks stay alert during their meditations. And little by little, the whole thing evolved into the present day tea ceremony that we know. So the original tea master was again a Zen monk. So very often in Zen temples, you're going to see tea houses. And this is, by the way, what we will see now, because the whole tea ceremony is like a meditation. It is an exercise in awareness, in attentiveness, and also in appreciation. So we are going to see the little tea house that this Zen temple has. It is located in a beautiful bamboo forest. Let's go and take a look. And here we are at the famous bamboo forest of Hokokuji Temple. And there is the tea house. So as we are going there, I would like to tell you a few words about how matcha is different from ordinary green tea. And the reason why it tastes so rich is because the tea plants have been covered for 24 days with a green, uh, sorry, not green, but actually black uh, sheet that limits the sunlight that gets through, which kind of forces the plant to produce extra chlorophyll. For that reason, matcha has this very, you know, brilliant green color and also is a little bit more bitter than the ordinary green tea. So this is the tea house and I'm going to get inside and get a bowl of matcha. So yay, this is my bowl of matcha green tea. It's always served in a bowl and together with it, you always get uh, some sweets in this case, um, I have two pieces of wagashi, of traditional sweets, and you are supposed, they're like candy in this case, you're supposed to have them first before you have your matcha. So now I'm going to admire the tranquil, peaceful bamboo forest and enjoy my bowl of matcha. I hope that you had fun visiting this traditional tea house in Japan. And if you like matcha, try Japanese one. It's really good. Thank you and goodbye.